What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. And I ask you the question, I beg to ask you the question, where is the meta going? The reason why I ask that is because of the post-hype madness that is going on and the attacks that we're already seeing. Uh, just to give you guys a quick background, uh, we're coming up on kind of the final stretch. Uh, we have about just over five hours left in this war. This was a random matchup, but it was an even breakdown. Fortune Steel taking on grumpy old men. Huge shout out to them. Uh, but there's two attacks in particular that I want to show you guys that ask the question, where's the meta going? Two attacks that would have never existed pre-update. But since Supercell nerfed those Inferno Towers... There's these two attacks I have to show you guys, and I'll show you why they wouldn't have worked pre-update and why they do now. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to scout the base just so you guys can see it. I mean, this is, I mean, this is uh, you know, a new meta base as far as, well, I guess the old meta. Uh, but this would probably be a base, I mean, as heavy as it is, as high up on the map as it is, we probably would have just dipped it. Okay, yeah, you know, we're just going to go ahead and make this a dip target. We'll focus on the lower weight Town Hall 10s. That's not the case, though. This base right here got 10v10. Wait until you see the army composition um, that three started. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit replay. So here we go right here, guys. I'm going to pause it real quick. HGHB. HGHB took this base down right here. We got 14 giants. We got 14 hogs, four healers. Uh, we got bowlers going to be coming out of the CC. Now I'll go ahead and hit play. It's going to be a really, really cheap funnel using one minion and one archer to set the funnel over here at 3 o'clock and then the funnel down here at 6. And wait till you guys see the value that Rock gets uh, from his kill squad before he even deploys the hogs. And again, I'll show you why it wouldn't have worked before and why it works now. And then we have one more example using a completely different army composition. Uh, but again, it begs the question, where's the meta going to go? If this is the first war and we're doing attacks like this already, only, I mean, who knows what, it, what people are going to come up with later on. So here we go. We got the giants in. We got the healers in. Here comes the bowlers. Heroes under rage. Uh, we got a Laloon coming out of the enemy CC. And you can already see... Uh, how much value the kill squad has already gotten. Two rages now. There were three rages and two heal spells in this army composition. Hound already pops because there's wizards and the archer queen in that rage spell. And they're already making their way to the core. And right here, this right here, this right here is when it would have been ripped. All these giants would have already been dead. They're hitting giant bombs, going over bomb towers, plus the inferno tower beams. But not, I mean... But because the healers not only are they under rage, look at the health of the giants. They are at full health, full health because of the healers. So we're trickling hogs, trimming uh, these deep, that one archer tower that was down there by the army camp. And you'll see right here, hogs on the inferno tower going to heal right through it. No problem. Keep the hogs up at full health. And Rock also brought two balloons just in case. Uh, but you're going to see that this base got completely demolished using, I mean... I'm sorry, it was a Town Hall 9 attack. This was a Town Hall 9 attack from, what, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, when HGHB was mopping the floor uh, with Town Hall 9s. Here we go, pretty much swag those two loons. Still has, I mean, quite a few hogs left up. Still has king left up. Uh, queen at full health. Um, I mean, just completely wrecked this base. We're going to go ahead and times four this. And wait till you guys see the next attack that I want to show you. And again, I'll show you... Again, just like in this example, why this attack you could not have done uh, pre-update, but now you can do it post-update. And again, this is our first war for us, first war with grumpy old men, or first war for grumpy old men in this uh, post-update, this this new meta. I mean, who knows how the bases are going to change? Our 10s can be expected to clear 10s, our 11s, um, our, you know, our Town Hall 11s still going to be dipping. Is there going to be 10 v 11 crew anymore? Uh, are the are 11s going to be hitting 11s? Are they going to be running anti threes? So many questions left unanswered. But again, this is only our first war. We have four uh, 10 v 10s already. We might, I think, we have five. Grumpy old man has a couple already. Um, but again, using attacks that you would have never used before. So we got queen starting up. So right here, this is where 
it pretty much would have been ripped. She would have already had to use her ability, taking on a couple point defenses. Clearly, under that Inferno Tower beam, this entire time, she would have had to pop her ability right around here. You got the uh, Sweeper pushing the healers back. But you can see those healers keeping her uh, nicely healed up. Only had to use one Rage for her. And you'll see there's 23 Hogs in the Army Comp. Uh, there's going to be seven coming out of the clan castle. Even has a P.E.K.K.A. Wait till you guys see how Dolphin uses his P.E.K.K.A. in this attack. Wallbreaker is going to open up this junction. King tanking the Expo. And for those of you that forgot, Expos also got nerfed. The max Expos at Town Hall 10 do 20 less uh, damage per second now. Very, very noticeable. So Queen going to be charging in here. I'll uh, just go ahead and times this real quick. So there goes the, the wall just broke right there. Queen going in. She's going to be taking on uh, both heroes. Uh, and this is a damage CC. And again, this is a fully maxed Town Hall 10 other than walls. And you'll see she's still under that Inferno Tower Beam, not doing a damn thing. Here comes enemy CC. He's going to be targeting her now. Has a pair of poisons uh, used for the heroes and for the CC. Here comes the P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. just going to be tanking these three point defenses. The Expo, the Cannon, the Archer Tower sending in uh, three nice thick groups of hogs coming in from the top. Also, the CC Hogs coming in at 9 o'clock. Uh, second heal spell already down. Still has one heal spell to deploy, guys. And there's only... Look at the defenses left. You got a couple Archer Towers and Inferno Tower, which does nothing anymore. And uh, that... Um, two Archer Towers and two Wizard Towers. And you'll see a, that heal spell covering damn near every last defense on this base. And wait till you see how many Hogs Dauphin still has up. Still has Queen ability, guys. Uh, wizards uh, helping clean up. Even the P.E.K.K.A. survived. Look at this group of hogs. P.E.K.K.A. is still up. Uh, and, and again, still had queen ability. Swagged queen ability. Last, D or last building to go down is going to be that clan castle. And like I said, where is the meta going? This is the second one I've done. I did one a uh, few months ago when the meta was kind of changing. But with this post-update, and the nerf to the Expos, the nerf to the Inferno Towers, uh, the Golems getting an HP increase, the Hounds getting HP increase. The worry at Town Hall 9 now is, are my Hounds going to pop? Am I going to have enough cleanup? Uh, again, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Your questions, your comments, uh, your concerns. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, and I'm really, really curious to know what you guys think. Uh, but again, this is just the first war. I had a 98%... Uh, 10v10 attack, 98% using Grundinator, we're using Town Hall 9 style attacks to 3 star Town Hall 10s. Again, let me know what you guys think down below. Like the video if you liked it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.